Hi and welcome to this channel. In this video, I will show you how to create a high converting landing page with Builder All. And also, I will show you a method that will help you get leads fast to avoid your prospects going inside your email account to confirm their email address. So if you like what you've heard so far, stay tuned and let's get into the video. After watching this video, if you find it valuable, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel. So first of all, you have three options. You have the website builder, the funnel builder and the funnel club builder. But in this tutorial, I'll use uh, the website builder. So I'll right click to open because I don't want to lose this home page. Alright, so these are all the sites I've created so far and published. In your case, it might be empty, but don't worry. When you start creating sites, you'll have it up here. And these are the sites I've not published. So scroll up. Alright, so to begin, click on create new site. Alright, you have two options here, but I prefer templates simple. So choose it. Alright, so on this page, I have to select a template to work with. Yeah, I want something with an image, so I might go with this. This is good if you have something with video, so I will select this and confirm. Hello and welcome to your website dashboard. Alright, so skip this. Alright, so like I always do, I like to add an image, just so it's going to be easier for me to recognize uh, the site I'm working on. So click on this and uh, I don't have the image here yet, so I will select to upload and this is the one. I just want to create something for airport click on it and save all right it's here all right so with this this is just for you to see okay your prospect will not see this but if you want the right format you have to go to canva and you know upload it there and tricks and stuff but i'm not interested in that all right so edit page and i'll scroll down just so you can see let's check the sales page Alright, so I just want to create something for Apple. Alright, so as you can see, we have black here, we have gray here, and the main page is white with black text. So let's go back. First, let me upload the photo and see how it's going to look like. So click on the image, click on edit element, which is the pencil, click on general settings, scroll down, change image, save okay it looks good i like the look of it all right so for seo purposes you can type so this is the name of the product so it's always good for seo and you can copy and paste it up here too all right then when you're done then you just close it i will type in Alright, so that's the product name, so I'll keep it like that and I'll move it up a bit. I'll change the background color, click outside or you can click anywhere as long as you're not clicking inside this box, okay? You can even click here, you see it's still there. Edit element and scroll down, background setting and I want solid color, so click on this. I'll go back here. This is the color. I'll use Colorzilla. Okay. And I'll pick it. So it's picked. This is a Chrome extension. It's free. You can download it. If you don't want to use your eyes to check the colors. Alright. So you come down here. Delete and paste the code. You see. Alright. So right now I need to change the color of the text. So double click. Double click. And go here. Click on this and click on white Then click outside. This look good. I'm liking it. All right, so I've deleted the test up here. All right, cause I don't want it. I'll add a new test. So I will go up here. Or what I can do, I can click on this, copy, move it up here. Yeah, so I like using this method instead of going here and click on test and choose test but it's up to you okay all right so i'll add h2 just for the sub adding let me put it here i'll close this click on this and delete it okay yeah so i'll use the h2 instead all right so for the subheading i'll go back here 
to the sales page. I will copy this. Right click, copy, and I'll go back. All right, so double click this, paste it, highlight everything, and reduce the test size. So I need to create an email list for this. All right, so I have to go back to mailing box to create that and come back and just connect everything okay because right now i have to link everything but i don't have an email list so we'll go back all right so first of all let me go back i'll show you something i need to save everything just so i will not lose it when i come back and maybe something happen so click save that's fine okay so go back all right so autoresponder it used to be mailing boss but now it's called autoresponder so i click open so that brings you to mailing box. All right, so first of all, you need to set it up. If you don't know how to set it up, I have a tutorial. I will just drop it in the link, so that will guide you. So I need to create a new subscriber list. All right, so copy and paste it here. Same thing. All right, I don't need to describe it too much. Continue. All right, so now the trick here is I want single opt-in because double opt-in takes time for you to make a sale. So choose single opt-in and single opt-out. All right. With this, you have high conversion rate. But with the laws going on like Europe and stuff, they don't want this. All right, but there are ways around it. So I will show you. Click on next to protect our services against attacks of fake subscribers. And reduce the chance of spam complaints we are limiting the use of single opt-in list all right so you just scroll down enter the url with the lead registration capture form and please justify it so we're gonna go back here and click on this go to site all right so you're gonna double click this right click copy all right so go back here paste it okay so what's your reason okay please justify it the need for single opt-in okay so i will say i need it due to the competitive market all right so scroll down and you click continue all right so it's accepted your form has been successfully saved okay so scroll down so at the moment i have just email field so i'll add uh, the first name field to it so click on it scroll down click on save changes your form has been successfully saved so go back to field okay so scroll down i want first name then email so this is zero so i'll change this to one also choose require yes scroll down and save changes so let's check it out now first name and name is required and email second and yes is required all right so everything is good click on save changes again and exit close it let's go back here all right so we are back scroll down click on this and uh, click on set list and this is it click on it and click on save all right so now we're gonna add uh, the link so click on the link go here and this is just an example okay so double click right click copy so go back here so when they subscribe where do you want them to go i just want them to go straight to the sales page so click on this and paste it then you scroll down and click on select this is because i'm not directing them to any thank you page and confirm page and stuff like that subscribe confirm i'm gonna click on it and go up and drop the link drop it here all right and scroll down and click on select so unsubscribe confirm i don't want any action if my prospect decide to leave they can unsubscribe all right so click save all right i'm gonna work on the button so click on the edit link move it up all right so go to headline get instant access and we look over here 
see how it says uh, buy i'll change this to buy right so this is the test color and it's white so i'll keep it so go up and close this go up so general color So I'm going to work on the disclaimer. So let's go here and when you scroll down all the way down. So these are the disclaimers. So privacy policy terms of use, sales and refunds and legal. And you need this when you have to do ads and stuff like that. Even for free traffic, I would advise you to do this. Okay. Alright, but since I'm going to use this from Apple, I'm not going to keep this there. I'm going to delete this. I did it just to show you something. Alright, then you click outside the box. So you're going to keep it like this. Alright, so the reason why I'm doing this, if you have to do ads, this is the way it's supposed to be. Okay, because let's say if you are doing like Snapchat ad or Facebook ads, they want your name or your logo. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to start linking. Okay, so what I'll do, I will go to Apple site, click on it and right click and copy link address. Go back here, double click, highlight this and click on link, go up and paste the link. Then open the new, always use open the new tab, click on set. Okay, so the color has changed. This shows you that it's highlighted. You see how it's underlined? Yeah, that's good. So now we go back. All right, so click outside the box, click on save. That's fine. Let's preview it. Click on preview. Okay, so this is how it's going to look like. Nice and beautiful. Check everything is good. All right, let's go back to the editor. Now we need to optimize it for mobile and tablet. So click on mobile. So this is how it's going to look on mobile. So this got to go up let's click on this and move it down this is the way it's supposed to be and go to tablet let's see tablet all right so click on this move down this is the way it's supposed to be that's good back to desktop nothing has changed here so that's good so what you do next you click save that's fine so go back to the main editor page now we have to republish so republish go back here click on it go to website this is the site copy the URL because this is ugly and uh, use bitly to shorten it but I would advise you to buy a domain and connect it. I have a tutorial on it as well. I will drop it in the description below. Or you can connect it to your subdomain. Alright, so let's try it. Buy. 
all right so now i'm on the main page this is it all right so let's go back i'll show you something quick so close it all right all right so right now i'll connect it to a subdomain so go back here scroll down connect domain then name it All right, so the subdomain name is Airport Pro, and my main domain name is this because I want to promote this on this domain. All right, so it's going to be airport.blockstormmarketing.com, and I'll click save, then confirm. All right, so when it's connected, go up. All right, so go to home. Click on this, go to the website, boom, airportpro.blogstormmarketing.com. Everything is working. So scroll up. So let's try it. Then let's see where it's going to take us. Boom, straight to the sales page. So in this case, your prospect is not going to their mailbox to confirm and all that. All right, so let's go to mailing boss so as you can see i try it with two email addresses so subscribers so you scroll down all right so as you can see it's confirmed already okay so that's the way it works okay and in that case see you have uh, the prospect email address in your system and also they are on the sales page already getting ready to view it and buy it all right so this is the end of the tutorial thanks for your time please like comment and subscribe to this channel until next time take care and have a wonderful day bye bye